Today I'm looking for the mythical creature, the Jersey Devil. Sightings of a bizarre flying monster have been terrifying the residents. Ministers, priests, rabbis have all reported seeing the Jersey Devil. Part goat, part snake, part devil. With thousands of sightings, I want to see if this thing could actually exist. I'm in Pine Barrens, which is apparently where it lives. I'm going to explore this area a little bit for now and just see if we see anything. But after that, I'm going to go talk to people and try to find someone who actually has seen the Jersey Devil or just has some crazy story. And this creature comes flying out of the woods in front of our car. Oh, you can see its eyes and Jersey Devil. This is my friend Tommy, another mythical creature, a ginger. I'm pretty big believer in some of this stuff, but not the Jersey Devil. I don't know about the Wait Jersey till we devil. hear the stories. They said there's been like 200 sightings in the last 20 years. Who, who is saying there's 200 sightings? Like, a lot of people have claimed to see it, but a lot more people say they've heard it. They say it makes like a terrifying scream. Literally, I'm just gonna try to find someone, hopefully that has a sighting, or at the very least, has like some crazy story about it. So we went to the nearest town to find exactly that. Hey, what's going on? Man? Basically though, we're looking for uh, the Jersey Devil. Is there any place that you'd like recommend that we go? No. The woods. The woods. <laughs> That's that's where we're going. Yeah. There's some there's some sketchy shit out there. You know what I mean? So you never know. Have you heard of the Jersey Devil? Yeah, why? You have? Yeah. You have any stories about it? Plenty of stories about it. Apparently the story started out that a lady was um, pregnant by a demon. Yeah. And she had a baby thinking it was gonna be normal, but it had wings and it flew out her freaking window. And one year I witnessed this. I was going down to Wildwood and I was only like 14 years old. Wow. And this creature come flying out of the woods in front of our car and the lady driving, my friend driving, we were squirming like this and we looked behind and all we seen was shadows and stuff. It's a true story and it, people say it's a feeble, but I saw it. Yeah, it's, it's legit. It, to me, it's legit. Damn. That's yeah, something you gotta go check out. Wait. Mind you, it's a long ass, like three mile road, just nothing. Literally. And then up at the tree, you hear screaming. Personal experience, it really f***ing yeah. so, Y'all don't want to see that it's like a big ass Rottweiler, right? With bat wings on that. What'd you What'd you do when you saw it? Like what happened? Once I heard it, that's when I knew that that ripped. Like, what like, What, what sounded, sound? Yeah, sound what like sound a fucking is dinosaur. Like, like that. How he know? Yeah, <laughs> that's what it sounded like. Like a screech. Man, I know so, people who shot that motherfucker, and it, 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 it don't. I was gonna say we're gonna try to like box it, but there's stories of people hitting that with a cannonball, and it don't do nothing to it. Damn. Yeah. Who, who's Back shooting cannons at it? <laughs> Hundred years ago, when they seen it, oh, they ain't had yeah, it. Yeah, it is a. Look, when I seen this, a week later, one of my friends got murdered. I didn't put two and two together until like a month after that and shit. Yeah. Nigga, might, one of y'all might get hit by a car or something. Bull. Just cause you seen it. All right, we'll, we'll come get him when we come he out. He with the Jersey Devil every night. <laughs> <laughs> so he told us about this historic village where a lot of the Jersey Devil sightings have taken place. But before we went there, I wanted to see if what he was telling us was actually true. So I did a bit of research on my own. Oh my gosh, bro, that guy wasn't kidding. He said they were testing cannonballs and they shot a creature. No There's stories of people hitting that shit with a cannonball and they don't do nothing to it. <laughs> That, I th we, th we thought that guy was joking. Yeah, so apparently they s they were testing out cannons and they hit a creature. They said it blew a hole in the devil, but it wasn't phased. And then they found, after that, they found strange tracks and, and the dogs, they got to track the blood, basically, would not track it. That's really crazy. It died down for a little, but later that year, more people claimed to see it. So we continued on to the historic village. Apparently. The Jersey Devil was uh, born here. We heard this location a lot. Like multiple people were like, Yeah, oh. the dudes were pretty convincing that they saw some weird stuff here, but I, I feel agree. uneasy. So we went to try to go figure out why there were so many Jersey Devil sightings here. <laughs> That's gonna actually be scary. If this is a historic town, why is there so many uh, like things of of the Jersey Devil. Like, that's kind of a weird thing to have. Well, I think that that's a big part of the history of this town. For some reason now, and even earlier when we visited this town off camera, the town was just completely empty, with half of the stuff unlocked and with power on. So we were just trying our best to see if we could find any evidence that might prove the Jersey Devil could be real. Creepy, man. You can see it smile. Wait, hold the light. Oh, bro, you can see its eyes and smile. Yeah. It's not working. You remember what the dude said? Your technology will stop working. Bro. Other than seeing a bunch of Jersey Devil pictures, we didn't really find much, so we were about to go to the next location when we heard a strange noise in the nearby trees. That was a weird sound. Dang, 
That was say? a weird sounding creature. Do you hear that? Yeah. What do you think that is? Frogs? I guess. Damn, those frogs having an orgy or something. <laughs> now we're about to go to, by far, probably, from, from that guy's story, by far the creepiest place. He said he literally heard screaming there. That's wild. We now finally headed to the most famous forest where almost all the sightings took place at. And I thought before we went in, I should read about some of the stories from this place. So in 1980, some forest rangers found a pack of pigs that had been brutally killed. And there were no tracks or any evidence of anything around the pigs. Which really, that really makes it weird because what wouldn't leave tracks? Something that flies. A lot of stories where people heard screams coming from the woods. Yeah, lots of stories of people just seeing it in the woods, hearing the screams. I've got a Polaroid camera to take pictures. I also have a thermal camera. Obviously, it's really hard to see at night. So basically what this is, it just looks for things that are warm. All right, we're gonna go look for the Jersey Devil now. All right, it's almost 3 a.m. right now. We were in the place with the most sightings at a time when we were most likely to see something. This was our last chance to find any proof that this creature could exist. Dude, look how creepy that sign looks. It's completely overgrown. The Jersey Devil could be lurking in here, or I guess in the sky. That's what makes him even more terrifying. I thought I heard something, but then I think, that yeah. I'm actually kind of scared to use the thermal camera because we can't see anything right now, dude. If we see some figure on here, be like, yeah, I don't like being here, bro. It's too dark, and we're in the middle of like the biggest woods. I think we just stop here. Okay, so I got the thermal camera. That's the bridge. All right, well. We didn't really find anything out of the ordinary on the thermal camera, but we were still on the main path in the forest. So we decided to go off the path and just straight into the middle of the forest, where most of the sightings would have taken place and where we would try the thermal camera again. I think it's pretty dense forest. You hear something? I think crickets or whatever. And, and he was also saying a lot of people that see the Jersey Devil, it's, he said it's an omen, basically, so if you see it... Hey, one of y'all might get hit by a car or something. It's bull just because you've seen it. You, it won't necessarily do something to you, but something bad will happen to you. Yeah. I don't know why, but getting up to this tree gave me, like, the worst feeling I've felt tonight so far. I don't see any figures anywhere. I don't see any... Is there any footprints? No. I don't see anything flying don't and apparently this is supposed to don't and apparently this is supposed to... <laughs> all right jersey devil <laughs> i don't think we got him well we um, searched a ton in the forest, even with the thermal camera. We went to the historic village where there's also been many sightings, and we talked to people and heard their stories. I don't know if I fully believe some of those guys, because some of them were saying pretty crazy stuff. Even with that, we really didn't find any evidence. I've done like a lot of research in this, and all the videos that are like Jersey Devil sightings, all the pictures and videos are probably the most fake out of any creature I've seen. Like, least convinced I've ever been on any of them. We didn't really experience anything. You guys might have some convincing argument, and I'd love to hear it, but I, I don't think the Jersey Devil is real. This is no longer a... This is Goatman's Bridge. <laughs> what, what, what? Oh my... It's Joey. <laughs> yeah, yeah so right, yeah. right over there. Steven! Goatman, are you here? 